Hi and welcome back. Today I start with a brand new video series called Patch of the Day. In these videos I'll just explain an interesting little patch or idea. To kick it off we're gonna make a small synth voice completely driven by a clock divider. For this, I'll walk you through building up the patch on my modular first, and then walk you through the flowchart towards the end of the video. As always, you can use the timeline to navigate to a specific section. And if you'd like to support this video series, or you want to get access to the PDF sheets of the illustrations I use in this and many of my other videos, have a look at my Patreon. But now, let's dive right in. Let's start with a simple two oscillator voice. For this patch, I use the TZ and Dixie 2. I take the sound waves from both oscillators to a Unity mixer. In this case, the TZ is tuned above the Dixie 2. From the mixer, I take the signal to the Dubfe Wasp filter. And from the Wasp filter into the Linux VCA. Now we have a simple voice without any control, but that Wasp filter sounds great. To control the voice, I use a simple square wave LFO from Peaks as a clock. In this case, I send it to a multiple, so I have easy access to multiple copies of the master clock. One of the copies is used to drive the Dupfa A162 clock divider. This one is interesting because it can send out gates and not just triggers. This is important for today's patch. Beside that, it also has prime numbers among its divisions, which can lead to more interesting results. To create melodies, I send three divisions from the divider into the IntelliGel triad, used as a CV mixer, starting with the division 5, 11 and 17. I use stackable cables so I can use that same division for other purposes later if I like. The mix out of the triad is sent to a quantizer. From the quantizer, I go to a buffered multiple and send a copy of the 1V proactive signal to each of the oscillators. Finally, a copy of the master clock is used to sync the quantizer. Now I can use this 3 channel mixer to feed different gate patterns into the quantizer, responsible for the melody of the voice. To shape the voice a bit more, I use another copy of the master clock to trigger a plucky attack decay envelope on the quadra. And I use a divide by 3 gate to trigger another slower envelope. Both envelopes are sent into another triad CV mixer. That mix is used to modulate the frequency of the WASP filter. I can now use this second CV mixer to shape the rhythm of the voice. Here is the slow envelope. The fast one. And both together. This gives you a simple but creative voice. You can create evolving patterns and melodies by tweaking both CV sequencers by hand. Here are a few examples with the same patch.
If you like a more conceptual layout, here is a flowchart of the same patch. The simple voice is made with two oscillators. The audio is mixed together and sent through a filter. Finally, a VCA is used, but only to control the volume, because from the VCA the signal is going to an outboard mixer. A square wave LFO is used as the master clock and sent to a clock divider. To create melodies, a mixer is used to mix a combination of multiple clock divisions. The mix of gates is sent to a quantizer. That quantizer is synced with a copy of the master clock. The created 1 volt per octave signal is used to tune both oscillators. To create interesting rhythms for the voice, two simple attack decay envelopes are used. One of them is triggered by the master clock, the other by a clock division. Another mixer is used to mix the envelopes together and the result is sent to the filter, modulating the frequency. Of course, you can take this bass patch and experiment by expanding the voice and modulating a variety of parameters. If you like this video series or you have feedback, feel free to let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to learn more about things like quantizers or clock dividers, have a look at any of these videos. Also, smash that like, subscribe and bell button if you want to see more modular content from me. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.